So, um, I had a small thing I wanted to present, two code examples, but uh, thought it was not enough for a lightning, even for a lightning talk, so I made something up. And then I realized I'm not really good at making shit up, so maybe I should just ask the tool for the job to make shit up, and this is ChatGPT. <laughs> so, as you might not know, wizards always or also use C++. And, um, or maybe it's just that some programmers look like wizards, I don't know that. Um, uh, but you can see it in the, the things that we say sometimes. Uh, we have uh, Voldemort types. This is an example of a Voldemort type, a type that cannot be named because it's only known inside the implementation. You can still use it outside, but it's, you cannot really refer to the type name outside of the function. So Voldemort types for people that didn't hear of that before. Um, then we have uh, th something I made up, Gandalf arguments, arguments that shall not pass or shall cannot be passed. Uh, this is an example of one, very useful one, I think, a logging function that um, you can give a variable number of arguments, but actually ends with a source location, which is weird because how will it decide what's the end of the variable arguments? Usually you can't pass, you can put can't put anything beyond the last variable argument pack, but actually you can. If you if you add this deduction guide at the at the bottom, then uh, let's say it determines. Well, actually, I don't know exactly how this works, but it determines the uh, amount of. I, I guess it determines the amount of arguments here, and then decides. Okay, that's the exact amount of arguments I'm going to pass to this function, and then uh, add the source location at the end. So if you know part of the standard guarantees that this works. I would be really happy to know that, but uh, it works well. Um, so, but if Voldemort types are types that cannot be named and Gandalf arguments are arguments that cannot be passed, what are other wizard teams, teamed programming concept exists? So let's ask JetDPT what it thinks. And it came up with a surprising list, which I will have to really quickly go through because otherwise I run out of time. So this is a Potter object which was created just to die at the appropriate time, like a scope exit. And uh, of course we have a Merlin method. This is not Merlin, but uh, it's, a, it's a method that seems to do magic for some reason and nobody understands exactly why. Um, we have this, this is all made up by JetGP. I didn't edit the slides, I just added the picture and I, the text is completely generated by ChatGPT. So apparently, like Hermione Granger, extremely useful, reliable, but in the process managed to completely destroy a single responsibility principle. Uh, Hagrid hand, hand, handlers. Um, it's apparently something with exceptionally large lists of exceptions. Uh, Snape scripts. Efficient but use dark magic, riddle refactoring, um, process of untangling obfuscated code, involves riddles left by others, uh, Weasley warnings, <laughs> maybe, compiler or runtime warnings that are friendly reminders of potential issues, Luna logic, um, well, exceptionally non-traditional whimsical logic that seems to somehow work anyway. Um, really helpful deployments, things that actually just work by magic. Um, function that allows you to recover gracefully from, gracefully from death and apparently arises from its own ashes. And it goes on, the list goes on, so I have to stop here because uh, I'm running out of time, but um, uh, ChatGPT will, uh, will inevitably give you a lot more ideas. So if you're looking for inspiration for lightning thoughts, maybe this is a good idea, I don't know. Uh, we have some more uh, potion patterns. If you mix the, mix the right ones, you might get something interesting. Um, yeah, if you hold a significant amount of power, you can create, create important and potentially um, 
potential impact. I don't know. Well, and hack sucks. Time. Um, shameless plug. Shameless plug. This is one of my websites, and uh, I, I gather super simple guidelines. And this is me. Thank you.